Well, good morning and welcome to a very windy Bristol Avon. This hurricane that's going through off the coast of Ireland has really stirred things up. It's really windy. The sun's this huge kind of orange disc in the sky, I'm guessing because of all the dust that's been stirred up. So yeah, I'm not sure what kind of a day's fishing it's going to be. It's very warm for the time of year, unfortunately. Uh, but there's not much flow, so I'm sticking with the tactic that I did last week. I've put um, sprats out and let them drift through the current. And I've set up in this swim because it's nice and wide. It means I can sort my gear out, get myself um, sorted out. And yeah, I think it's just line bites, wind bites. But yeah, I've given it 10 minutes here and there's not been any takers. So I'm going to gather my gear up, go literally kind of 20 paces up the bank to my next swim which was uh, where I got fish from right at the end of the last session. So yeah, as ever, fingers crossed for a pike today, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So much for best laid plans. There's a bloody houseboat in the other swim, which seems a little unfair. There's a whole new pontoon section that's been put in, in the river. Uh, I think it was put in last year. And it's kind of knocked out, I guess, five swims that are fishable up from the lock keeper. So to moor your boat in one of the ones that you can fish in does seem a little unfair, but hey. So, I've kept coming on down, so I'm now further up round the river. And yeah, I've just got the rods back out in this swim, which is a likely looking spot. Um, although the wind is hacking through, it's actually very calm on the right. It's more out on the left, but the, although the flow is coming this way, the wind's going that way, which is causing a bit of a nightmare don't know whether the twitch sprats uh, just drifting through the current is going to work today. I think I might have to switch over to ledger because by detection it's just a bit of a nightmare. Um, but yeah, let's give it 10 minutes here. The swim's kind of either side of this one as well, but worth a try. We'll see what happens. Change of tactic. I'm switching over to a nice stinky sardine and I'm putting a ledger on. The wind is just bloody crazy and uh, yeah, it's making bite detection virtually impossible. So yeah, switch over this. Um, just been chatting to a fella, so I'm gonna give it another couple of minutes in this one, have a cast, just cast out the other rod with a new um, sprat on the end. Let's see what happens. I cast that sardine out and literally, I just put the bobbin on, turn around and wham, off it went. And you bubby. But, fish him in it. It's probably the smallest pike I've caught from the Bristol Avon. <laughs> Look at that. Just a little baby one. <laughs> but seriously, that had been in the water for all of about 15 seconds and it absolutely steamed off. A bit of the cast, I chucked that out quite a bit further this time. So, uh, yeah, let's slip this little fella back. See if we can get another one. <laughs> Happy days. Well, <laughs> you know I said that last fish was the smallest I've ever caught. I might have been wrong. Right, it's going to be very tricky to pick this one up, so bear with me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that! That is one mini pike. I didn't know they came this small. So that is a, a sprat that I literally cast out into the current and 10 seconds later, off it went. <laughs> Loving it, loads of fun. Right, let's get this little teeny tiny fella back, get that bait back out, let's see if we can get another baby pike. So, I wish I bought more sardines. Other rods going, I think, so we'll do this one quickly. So, yeah, another fish to the sardines. Only another little baby, but what the hell, it's loads of fun. Right, let's go and check out that other rods quickly. Well, that was a hectic kind of 20 minutes or so. It seems we've calmed down now. I can't work out whether I'm getting knocks and taps or it's just the wind. But to be honest, when the fish are going, I'm getting and it's, it's just taking off. But yeah, it seems we've calmed down a little bit here. Um, I'm kind of rapidly running out of bait. I've got two halves of sardines out. I've got a sardine tail out at the moment. I've got two mangled traces, so I need to sort that out. 
But yeah, who knows? It's really. Hey, I think that's another one. It's just impossible to tell with this wind. Can't decide whether to switch the other rod, the sprat rod, onto a ledger as well, just so it can hold bottom, so I get better bite detection. Um, yeah, let's get it back out. Well, I guess that's the thing about fishing the river. You're never quite sure what you're going to pull out. I've got no idea what that was, but that was attached to the end of one of the rigs. But for the moment, it works as quite a handy weight to keep my unhooking mat pegged down. See a load of little shots hanging off that, so somebody else has got snagged up off it. But yeah, it's quietened down again. Um, I keep on getting knocks and taps, but I'm, it's really difficult to tell whether it's the wind. So, I'm actually toying with the idea of giving the swim to my right a go. There's a nice long drag and there's a nice kind of reedy margin along the right hand side here. So, I'm toying with the idea of literally just moving to the right one swim. And if that doesn't produce, moving to the left one swim. Because just around this spot, there's another swim that I can actually get down to there. Now, it means I'll be kind of fishing almost the same area. But as with all fishing, you suddenly change the angle or change the bite and bait, sorry, and all of a sudden it changes, changes the fishing. So, yeah, I think another 10 minutes, just because this swim's been so good to me, and we'll see what's what. Look at that sun. Crazy. Oh, well, we've got both rods pinging now. Ooh. If this continues, I'm going to have to go out to the tackle shop and get some more bait. I've no idea what the time is. But these little fellas are oh, absolutely wiping me out. Look at that. There you go. How about that little fella? Another one that was on half a... Wind's driving me mad. That was on half a sardine. There's literally a tail from probably his brother smashed up for me. Um, yeah, poor little Jack. I'm having loads of fun today. Oh, it's so difficult to tell. I think maybe that other rod's going to check out. So. Let's dump this little fella back and, uh, yeah, get another bait out there. So, I've just transferred the uh, kind of almost freelining sprat rod over. So I thought I'd show you the setup very quickly. So, it's using the same rig. Sorry about the appearance of the bait. It's uh, we already had one fish, <laughs> it's going out again. But yeah, nice big size, I think that's a size 2 hook and a little treble. So that's why I've been using for sprats, but it works just as well for the shorter baits. Nice long trace up to a <clears throat> gripper lid. I got um, Mark Payne to make these up for me. I noticed on his feature finding leads that he had swivels with really big eyes. So I got some of those made up and I think that's a, that's a two ounce one. Uh, what is it? I think I got 45 pound braid, loaded on a bait runner and a three pound test curve rod. So, let's bung it out there again. The light is amazing, look. And that's the sun reflecting on the water. Out there. What an amazing day. The baits are looking pretty manky, so I'm only gonna give them five minutes, to see if they get picked up. If they don't, then I'm gonna chuck a different bait on. I don't quite know what though. I've got a whole mackerel left and about six or so sprats. So that's the other reason I moved to this swim, because if I get a couple of pickups on this swim, I'm out of bait. And uh, yeah, the tackle shop is a bit further up this way, not that way. So yeah, let's give it five, ten minutes here, we'll see what's what. If I don't get any takers, I'm actually going to go downstream and work with the bait that we've got. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I think that's one on. Let's put that there. Okay, that's a bit of a better fish. Awesome job, right.
That was a fantastic bite. I've no idea if it actually came out on camera. But, how about that? <sighs> that was on the crappiest bit of bait I've got left. That was half, half a sardine that was looking very, very sorry for itself. Fantastic sport as well. Absolutely went bonkers. Really tore off. Full of beans, full of energy. Nice and skinny. There you go. One more look at him. What a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish on a beautiful day. I am so happy. So happy. So much fun, love it, absolutely love it. Right, let's slip him back. If there's a couple of fellas like this around, maybe it is worth putting that mackerel tail out. So I poked ahead up to have a quick look to see if um, this swim was free, and it turns out it was. The boat that was here must have moved. So yeah, I poofed it back here, just chucked the rods out. The left hand rod I've got out in a kind of snaggy tree area where I've had fish from before. Yeah, even if I do say so myself, it was a perfect cast, exactly where I wanted it. So, yeah, I've only got 20 minutes, half an hour left, so that is going to stay exactly where it is. And because it's a bit calmer down here, although you probably can't tell because of the wind noise, um, yeah, I've gone back to uh, casting a sprat out and letting it drift through the current. So, yeah, what an amazing session. I mean, it started so strangely with that that kind of almost eclipse-like weather this morning and yeah now it's absolutely boiling it's like a summer's day out here crazy so yeah they got the heat wave right <laughs> which is mental so yeah all those little jacks were loads of fun and then that bonus fish which i'm guessing must have been somewhere between 8 and 12 pounds it's very difficult to guess guess the weights at the moment because uh, they don't have much tummies on them they're still very long and lean but yeah, that was an amazing fish. So you never know, I might get another one out of here. Camera's telling me I've got one minute left on the battery on this one, so it's just about to peg out. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Like the video if you did, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next week on The Oven. Cheers.